Hey guys, what's happening? So, in my previous video I showed this lot of nitrogen that I got on eBay for 40 bucks. And the engine I was mainly interested in was this SX-15. This is a very rare big block uh, engine. You know, it's a small block, big block. So it's a 15 in a big block package. And I got it for my Super Impact build. In my opinion, this is like the best 10 scale ever built. It's a, it's a 110 and 235 millimeter width. And they actually, they made this engine for this, or designed this engine for this car, the Big Block 15. And it's actually, I mean, I'm not sure which one it is, but the head, so it's either the, the 21, it came with a Serpent 21, Nova Serpent. And I'm not sure which one is the Michael Salvin because this 15 originally had this weird head on the top of it. Like cooling head, I'm not even sure what that is. So if any of you guys know what this is, let me know. Um, but this is a Michael Salvin EV, EV04 cooling head, so I'm assuming one of these engines is an EV4. But I'm going to take them apart. Um, this is a Nova 21, and uh, this actually one has a really good compression when I was running it. The 15, actually that's the one I, I really want to use, so I'm going to take them apart, ultrasonic clean them. Get them all cleaned up. Uh, this one actually looks like it's almost brand new. Look at the head. Looks very nice. Good compression. Now this one, this 21, looks like it's it's also seized. I, it's not, it, it's, it's seized right now. But look at the head. It almost looks like it was running, look, running lean. So this might be beyond repair. I'm gonna see if I can knock that piston down with a piece of wood maybe. But uh, another thing too that annoyed me with this guy's engines that I got are the uh, the RTV sealant. That's such a no-no. Um, yeah, because if your engine sucks up a piece of that RTV sealant, it could actually create scuffing on the, on, the, on the cylinder or create a lot of pressure. If it gets, it's almost like it's rubber. It would, it would bind up the piston in the cylinder. Uh, more create serious problem, you know, somewhere in there, you know. But. Uh, yeah, same, same thing like a car transmission. You never want to use RTV in a car transmission. Um, Alright, so I'm going to get these apart. I'm going to see if I can figure out what these are. At least look at the sleeves, how many ports there is. Um, this is obviously a... Uh, looks like it's a... Uh, I think it's just a regular plug. And then this head was a turbo plug. Alright, so another major no-no. This guy RTV'd in the carburetor. Dude, that's just asking for trouble. Uh, sorry for the noise, I'm putting out some stuff here, but, I mean, besides that, the crank looks clean, which is good. I might get it all apart, but, looks like it's a, it's a three-chamber design. It looks like it might have originally had a turbo head, but, yeah, this is a non-turbo head that was on there. Or, I mean, the, uh, the glow plug was non-turbo. Alright, there is the crankshaft, and it looks nicely polished, so... Definitely not one of those cheap Chinese engines. Yeah, RTV everywhere. Alright, so here's the sleeve, and you can definitely see the port work down on there. Really nice. Alright, so let's take those are non-sealed bearings. So I'm just going to throw it in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner as is, and then I'm going to blow it out with my compressor. Um, if they were sealed bearings on both sides, I'd probably take the bearings out, but I want to get the gunk out of those bearings. Yeah, my favorite part is when I turn this thing on. Alright, well that one's older still not cleaning. I'm going to, there's a stuck screw in there, so I'm going to heat up my torch. Hope I can get that out of there. And then, uh, like I said, this thing is locked up in there. Well, the piston's locked into the sleeve, so I really can't grab it. But I'm curious, I'm, I'm assuming this is the Evo 4 then. Alright, so I'm trying to get away from that noise over there so you don't have to hear it. But, uh, that's the 21, the crankshaft. Like I said, this one is C, so I can't go past. I gotta knock that piston out. Not knock it, I'm gonna knock it in, not out. Alright, so you obviously you don't want to hit it with something uh, metal. You want to hit it with the material that's softer than aluminum. I'm gonna try to hit it with a Sharpie real fast. That doesn't work out. I keep on stepping up and hardest materials. 
So I might have to use like a wooden dowel. All right, a couple taps and it's just pushed down. Pretty basic. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is the obviously the high-end one right here. Look at me, all the ports. So you have your exhaust port. And then let's see, I have to count them, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten port. I guess maybe that wouldn't be considered a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm not sure if these two top boards are considered, next to the exhaust here and here, are considered uh, intake. Oh, jeez. They're not a lot. Alright, like the 15, I'm going to put ultrasonic clean it all together separately. That'll mix up the parts. Okay. Alright, 21 engines in. All I'm using is some Dawn and water. Alright, so I got the 15 done, I got the 21 done. So I powder coated the 15, and then I uh, marked out the uh, lettering, or filed out the uh, powder coat off the lettering. So this actually one looks good. Now this actually one has a really tight pinch. Um, that's not actually not a bad thing, I'm just going to have to really heat up the head before I fire it up. Open it up a little bit. But that's actually a good thing, that's, gonna be, that's kind of an insanely good compression. Um, now the head, I'm actually going to rework the head. I'm going to clean this up. Um, one thing I can't figure out for sure is, does Nova Rossi use paint or anodized? can't even tell, because it looks more like paint to me. Because I've actually done anodizing before. I made a video about it, helmet anodizing. But um, So I'm, I think I'm going to try to restore this with this metalized, metal cast, duplicolor, anodized coating. I think I'll make another video about that. That way I can go into detail about this stuff. But that's it with these uh, Nova Rossi Nova engines. So, I mean, Nova is Nova Rossi. If you're wondering, oh, gaskets came off. But I also ordered another uh, a head. The cool thing is this 15. This 15 head can actually fit either either or the 21 or the 15. Same head button, same diameter head button here. So I'm not sure which head I'm going to put this on. This one or this one. But I have this nice, cool looking black head coming in. So put that on there one of these all right so that's the end of this video um, if you wonder where these nitro strands came from they're uh, I designed these in fusion 360 and uh, they're my thing verse page but uh, all right guys cool fun project now I gotta work on the uh, the RB concepts the C4 clean this up do the same thing it's a disaster all right cool have fun <laughs>